kita sambut bos kita hari ini Miss Joy Hello, 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 good morning and happy Sunday How are you all? It's me again Miss Joy, hostnya kalian di acara Kids Church Morning Show Kali ini kita udah ada di topik terakhir di seriesnya Joseph Clothes Dan pakaian terakhir Yusuf ini adalah best of the best of his clothes Bahkan sampai sekarang pun Yusuf masih pakai pakaiannya Hmm, at this moment Yusuf still wearing this clothes? How come? Apa itu pakaiannya? It is clothes of salvation Terus gimana caranya kita tahu kalau Yusuf masih pakai pakaian itu? Nah, kita mau cari tahu hari ini Tapi sebelumnya kita doa dulu ya Bapak, terima kasih buat hari ini. Bapak, biar hati kami terbuka supaya kami bisa menerima firman-Mu, kami mengerti, dan kami melakukannya dalam hidup kami sehari-hari. Dalam nama Tuhan Yesus, kami berdoa. Amin. Before the day, I took a breath. You had a plan for my every step. You promised to always be. My side, I believe that you are the way, you are the truth, you are the lie. So I sing this to you. You keep your promises every day. I will believe in everything that you say. Yeah, in the dark, I know you're making a way. Jesus, I will trust you. You're always good in everything that you do, and I know everything that you say is true.
All right, it's game time. We have a feeding contest. Each player will have a partner. One player will be the feeder, and the other will be the eater. The pair to successfully finish their food wins. But wait, there's a catch. Everyone has to be blindfolded. You guys? Yeah. Ready, set, go. but fun. Each eater had to trust his partner to feed them properly. They were not successful all the time though. But do you know who we can always trust? Yes, it's God. In our story today, we will see how Joseph had complete trust in God's word and power. Wow, that was amazing and fun ya. We have to trust our partner to feed us properly. Kita lihat nggak tadi? Ada yang kasih makannya meleset ke pipi, ke atas, kemana-mana. Jadi nggak bisa langsung masuk ke mulut. But did you know there is someone that we can fully trust 100% of the time? Do you know who is he? God, yes. Nah, hari ini kita akan dengar dari guest teacher kita story tentang bagaimana Yusuf punya kepercayaan penuh pada firman dan pada kuasa Tuhan. Lihat videonya dulu ya. When Joseph was about to die, he called his brothers. I am about to die, but God gave me a promise to our ancestors. He said that he will bring us to our promised land. So when that happens, I want you to take my bones with you, because God is a promise-keeping God. His brothers promise to do what he says, and Joseph dies. Centuries later in Exodus, Moses takes the bones of Joseph with him. This is because Joseph had made the sons of Israel swear to carry his bones to the promised land. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, why did Joseph ask his brothers and their descendants to bring his bones with them? In Jewish culture, where you are buried is very important. That is why Joseph wanted to be buried in the land God promised his family. He knew that God was a promise-keeping God and he trusted that one day his family would go to the promised land like God said. In fact, the Apostle Paul calls what Joseph did a great act of faith. That's because he trusted in God even though Joseph did not get to see the promise fulfilled when he was alive. 
God counted this act of Joseph as great faith. Today, God gives all of us a promise. He gives us a promise that we can stay with Him in heaven forever. Humanity has sinned against God and because of our sin, we cannot go to heaven. The Bible says we are slaves to sin and the punishment of sin is death. But the Bible also said that He paid for the price for our sin. God takes our dirty clothing of sin and replaces it with the clean clothing of salvation. He paid the price with His precious blood so we can stay with Him in heaven forever. All we need to do is receive this precious gift. When you give God your life, He will take care of you. He will take your dirty clothes of sin away and replace it with His clean clothes of salvation. Joseph knew he could trust God to keep his promises. Trust in Jesus' promise and choose to receive the clothes of salvation today. Nah, gimana kids? Udah lihat video story-nya ya? Hari ini kita akan dengar cerita tentang clothes of salvation. Apa sih clothes of salvation itu? Nanti akan diceritain sama guest teacher kita. Tapi sebelumnya kita panggil dulu ya, karena kan ini bangkunya masih kosong. Kalian pasti udah kangen deh, dan pasti udah nggak sabar ketemu sama guest teacher kita ini. Langsung ya, please welcome Mr. Prince! Hai! Hai Hai! 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 Apa kabar Mr. Prince? Baik, baik Miss Joyce. Miss kangen loh nyari ini. Ah, Miss Prince juga. Miss all of you. I hope all of you are doing well at home. So, Mr. Prince, mm -hmm. topik kita hari ini kan masih di Joseph Clothes Tapi Betul. hari ini hari yang terakhir nih oh. Nah, hari ini kan pakaiannya Joseph itu adalah pakaian yang terbaik ah, Clothes so. of Salvation Clothes of Salvation itu apa sih sebenarnya? Ah, oke, okay, oke okay. So, last week, mm -hmm. uh, we ended with a story of how God promoted Joseph to be the ruler of Egypt yeah. Joseph, who had been a slave, mm -hmm. and then after that A prisoner later on Joseph's interpretation of Pharaoh's dream came true. Yep. Oh. Egypt experienced abundance mm -hmm. for seven years. Yes. And then it was followed by seven years of famine in the entire area, mm -hmm. including Canaan. Yes. Where Jacob and Joseph's brothers lived. Joseph's brothers came to Egypt to buy food. Mm -hmm. And they were eventually reunited, reunited yeah. with Joseph. And that is one spectacular story and you can read about it later. Mm -hmm. But for our lesson today, we will skip to the part when Joseph was nearing his death. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's uh, open up our Bible from the book of Genesis chapter 50 verse 24 and 25. Soon I will die, Joseph told his brothers, but God will surely come to help you and lead you out of this land of Egypt. He will bring you back to the land he solemnly promised to give to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Then Joseph made the sons of Israel swear an oath, and he said, When God comes to help you and lead you back, You must take my bones with you. Wow, that was amazing. Joseph had absolute faith in God's promise untuk memberikan tanah kepada orang Israel. Sehingga dia membuat agar saudara-saudaranya, keturunan mereka nantinya, the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren, berjanji sama Joseph untuk membawa tulang-tulangnya bersama mereka ketika mereka pergi meninggalkan Mesir Mis. Do you think it happened, Mr. Prince? Maksudnya gini loh, mm -hmm. kan itu pesannya udah lama banget, tapi emang masih diingat. Terus abis itu, uh, bener nggak janjinya Tuhan itu bener-bener terjadi? Nah, Miss, amazingnya, mm -hmm. it truly happened. Oh, oke. Okay. Uh -huh. Jadi setelah Yusuf meninggal, orang Israel diperlakukan buruk mm -hmm. oleh orang Mesir. Mereka diperbudak selama ratusan tahun. Finally, the Israelites cry out. To the Lord to be set free. Akhirnya Tuhan mengutus Musa, Moses untuk memimpin bangsa Israel 
Oh, go out of Egypt. Egypt. Betul. Tapi sebelum itu, Moses did something first, Miss. Oh, ya? Uh-huh. Apa itu? Nah, boleh nggak, Miss uh, Joyce? Uh-huh. Uh, could you please read from the book of Exodus, chapter 13, verse 19? Okay, I will read it, ya. Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for Joseph had made the sons of Israel swear to do this. He said, God will certainly come to help you. When he does, you must take my bones with you from this place. Wow, jadi even after 40 years, uh-huh. the Israelites never forget the promise they made to Joseph to That's bring right. his bones with them. Yes, betul okay. Miss. Ada Karena lagi ya? Miss yang lebih amazing lagi. Oh iya? Uh-huh. Apa lagi tuh? Nah, yaitu God never forgot his promise to deliver the Israel to bring them to the land that he had promised to Abraham. Okay. Joseph was so sure that God would keep his word that he made arrangement for his bones. Oh, that's hmm. right, sir. Jadi, even though he was about to die, he still believed that one day yeah. he would also be in the land that God promised. That's right. He was extraordinary. Yeah, betul, Miss Ben. Hmm. That's what we call faith, iman. Oh, okay. uh-huh. Joseph had an absolute faith in God. Dia bahkan berada di Hall of Faith tertulis Miss in, in the book of Hebrews mm-hmm. chapter 11. Nanti kalian bisa baca sendiri ya di Alkitab kalian ya uh, from the book of Hebrews chapter 11. That is the kind of faith that God seeks. That is why we know that Joseph is in is in heaven right now because he had an absolute faith in God. Iya ya ya. Aku uh, aku jadi ingat ayat di ini, Sir. Mm-hmm. Ephesians 2 verse 8. God saved you by his grace when you believe. And you can take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Yes, amen. Amen, amen. Dan seperti Yusuf, walaupun dia enggak pernah menginjakan kakinya mm-hmm. secara langsung in the promised land, mm-hmm. tapi dia tahu nih bahwa Tuhan menyediakan something better for him. Mm-hmm. What was that? Oh, something the best yang Joseph pikirkan, yang bayangkan itu adalah Jesus dan his death on the cross mm-hmm. supaya kita semua dan semua tokoh di perjanjian lama in the Old Testament, including Joseph itu akan mendapatkan eternal life with mm-hmm. Jesus Miss. nah sekarang Mr. Prince hari ini mau mengajak kalian semua di rumah untuk mengingat satu poin pelajaran kita hari ini, yaitu I will trust in God alone for my salvation. Sekali lagi, I will trust in God alone for my salvation. Amen, right? Nah, Yusuf mempercaya Tuhan. Itu sebabnya kita tahu bahwa dia sekarang memiliki his heavenly clothes, yaitu pakaian keselamatannya, clothes of salvation. Oke, okay. aku sekarang ngerti deh. Mm-hmm. Jadi Yusuf itu tahu bahwa dia nggak akan melihat tanah perjanjian. Yes. Tapi dia percaya sama Tuhan bahwa suatu hari itu akan terjadi. Amin, betul, Miss. Dan terlebih lagi yang dijanjikan Tuhan itu bahkan lebih indah dari tanah perjanjian, yes, tapi right. adalah close of salvation. Salvation itu, betul. Luar biasa. Dan. Kita semua masih muda dan kita butuh bertahun-tahun nantinya sebelum kita meninggal. Tetapi sekarang kita dapat yakin bahwa kita juga sejak saat ini dapat memiliki pakaian keselamatan itu, the cloth of salvation. Caranya gimana? Oke, okay. nah, uh, we can be saved by putting our faith in Jesus and in what He did for us on the cross. Jadi hari ini. Mr. Prince mau ngajak setiap kalian di rumah Is there any of you would like to secure your cloth of salvation right now? Kalau ada, dari antara kalian Would you raise your hand? Alright, alright Oke, okay. bagi setiap kalian yang raise your hand Would you please place your hand on your heart like this? After that, could you please uh, pray and repeat after me? Let's pray. Dear Jesus, 
Thank you for the work for today. And we want to be like Joseph, who had a cloth of salvation. That is why, right now, we confess our sins. Please forgive our sins, Lord. And we want to put our faith in Jesus and in what he did on the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for saving us from all of our sins. Now, we have put on our cloth of salvation. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Dan setelah kita berdoa tadi, jika kalian merasa, if you have peace and you have feeling that I will follow Jesus, I want to follow Jesus, and I believe that He is my Lord and my Savior, itu kalian artinya setiap kalian sudah memakai cloth of salvation yang Tuhan Yesus janjikan kepada kita semua yang percaya kepadanya seperti Joseph tadi. Amen. Amen. Nah, kids, uh, untuk supaya kita terus ingat bahwa kita ini punya Tuhan, yuk kita sama-sama uh, hafalin power truth-nya kita ya. Mm -hmm. I will trust God in the different seasons of my life. Sekali lagi ya, Mr. Prince, okay. ya, bareng-bareng ya. Yeah. I, I will, will trust, trust God, God in the different seasons, seasons of, of my life. life. Dan ada ayat juga untuk menguatkan mm -hmm. iman kita, mm -hmm. Mr. Prince. Jadi, power verse kita di Romans 8, verse 28. We know that God is always at work for the good of everyone who loves Him. They are the ones God has chosen for, for His, his purpose. purpose. Amen. Amen. Wow, jadi hari ini luar biasa sekali ya, kids. Mis percaya kalian semua sekarang udah punya clothes of salvation yang Amen. Kalian. Amen. Mr. Prince, hari yes. ini sesiunya udah mau selesai. Hari ini kita tetap akan ada art and craft. Tapi sebelumnya, sebelum kita nonton Power Force Dance-nya dan ke art and craft, mm -hmm. Mr. Prince, tetap doa dulu ya. Oh, oke. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's pray. Uh, dear Jesus, thank you for today. And thank you that we have received the cloth of salvation. Thank you, Lord. And we put our faith in you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mrs. Prince. You're welcome. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Okay. Bye.
Hai kids, waktunya art and craft Hari ini kita akan membuat crotch Kita siapkan dulu ya bahan-bahannya Kita perlu karton ya, dan juga kertas Kemudian cat air atau krayon Kemudian selotif ya Kuas atau kalian juga bisa pakai plastik atau e, kapas ya Nah kemudian untuk membuatnya adalah Kertas putih ini kalian tempelkan di karton ya Jadi nanti kertas putihnya harus ada di tengah-tengah seperti ini Pastikan kertas putihnya ada di tengah-tengah Terus kemudian kalian siapkan masking tape-nya ya bentuk salib dengan masking tape kalian ya nggak kelihatan kali ya nih nah kalian mulai mendekor ini mendekor kertas putihnya ya dengan kat mis kali ini pakai krayon ya untuk bikin dekorasinya oke mis mulai ya kalian warnain ini bermacam-macam macam-macam warna oke nanti jadinya seperti ini kids ya nah pada waktu ini udah selesai kalian bisa lepas lagi masking tape nya ya ingat pada waktu taruh masking tape nya jangan di press press seperti ini supaya gampang buka tuh bukanya dan tidak merusak kertas bagian putihnya ya kalian yang sekarang kalian bisa melihat salib putihnya terlihat begitu jelas ya di dalam karton ini nah setelah itu kalau kalian ingin membuat desain uh, salib ini kalian bisa pakai uh, cat air atau kasih pembolong kertas atau nanti kalian kasih glitter nah Miss sudah bikin contohnya ya Miss senang sekali bikin ketampilan seperti ini ini kalau kalian pakai cat air ya bentuknya kayak gini terus kalian bisa pakai pembolong padi nih bentuknya seperti ini ya atau kalau mau pakai glitter ini dikasihin lem dulu ya baru ditaburin glitter nah seperti ini iya ini kalau kalian pakai pensil warna jadinya seperti ini kita membuat salib hari ini untuk mengingatkan kita bahwa keselamatan kita hanya dimungkinkan oleh kematian Yesus di kayu salib. Ketika kita menaruh iman kita kepada Yesus dan apa yang dia lakukan di kayu salib, kita diselamatkan. Sari Joseph Close kita hari ini selesai. Minggu depan kita akan ada seri baru yang tidak kalah seru dan menarik. Apa ya? Stay tune terus ya kids. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye-bye.